Hey guys, thanks for joining me and today I'll be reviewing one of my all-time favorite bits of kit. Something that comes with me on every single trip, uh, no matter what. And that is, of course, this little guy, the MLD Bugby V2. So, let's get stuck into it. Let's get started with the specs. The weight of the bivy is seven ounces or 200 grams and I found that to be pretty much spot on on my kitchen scales. The height at its highest point is 27 inches or 69 centimeters and that's also the width at its widest points around the head and shoulder area. So that's 27 inches, 69 centimeters. It does taper down to 24 inches or 61 centimeters at the feet. The material used in the BV for the floor is a 30D Pro Sil Nylon, which I found to be reasonably tough, but I still use a ground sheet whenever I go camping just to be on the safe side. The side and the head panels are made from a lighter and thinner 10D to save some weight, and I've had no issues with any durability or anything like that with those. When it comes to setup, the MLD Bug BV2 couldn't be much easier. It has four elastic loops, so one on each corner, and that provides your stakeout options. On the inside, the Bug BV2 has these small plastic struts, which help provide support to the bathtub floor and give the whole BV some added structure. This is great when camping in wet conditions, knowing you won't get any water over the edge and on the inside of the BV. The bivy also contains two bundle hooks, one on each end of the zipper, which you can use as tying points to any shelter. It does come with some rubber cord, which I currently have tied into my MLD Duomid to easily hook up the bivy, uh, but you can leave that attached to the bivy. As you can see, I've just used some rope here. So all in all, the bivy is really quick and easy to set up and can be adapted in different tarp setups without too much fuss or it can be used on its own on a clear night to provide bug protection while remaining very airy and cool to sleep in on a hot night. In terms of getting in and out of the bivy, it has two zippers so you can open from the head, from the feet or from the middle if you wish making life a little bit easier. I myself am about 180 centimeters tall and about 85 kilograms and fit pretty comfortably inside of the bivy. Bearing in mind there's no mat in this video that I'm showing you, um, so you have to add an extra inch or two in terms of height, but in terms of shoulders and length space, there is plenty. When it comes to sitting up in the bivy, that's a bit of a different story. I struggle to sit up perfectly straight. I tend to put a lot of pressure and stretch on the material, so I find myself undoing the zipper around the head if I want to sit perfectly straight but you've definitely got enough room to move around in and out of your sleeping bag or quilt and be comfortable without feeling confined. So all in all, I find this to be a awesome little bivy. I've taken it on every single trip since I've gotten it, used it in lots of different setups and just by itself. It offers you know, the protection from the bugs and critters that I want. Um, it's well vented uh, so I can sleep in the warmer conditions and it gives me enough protection from wet weather as well, even when camping just in a simple A-frame type setup. Um, so yeah, it's, it's light, it's versatile, it's, uh, it's a real winner for me and I definitely haven't found the need to go check out any other bivvies or any other setups, so really happy with this one. That about wraps up the review. If I've missed anything, if you have any questions, let me know. I do try and keep these reviews pretty short and pretty to the point. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you want to be notified of any upcoming videos, hit that bell. Uh, if you're new to this channel, I focus a lot on just outdoor stuff, um, obviously hiking, uh, but also kayaking, rock climbing, and do gear reviews along the way. So hit that subscribe button, helps me out, and like if you got something out of this video. But as always, thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you in the next video, and until then, happy trails.